What is up, everybody? Simon here, back with another video. And in this video, it's kind of be an update to my previous video that I did a couple days ago with that uh, flip up screen $1.80 uh, idea that I created. I did not create it, but I like created with a 3D printer. So, um, an update is that I actually, before I was using one of these mirrors, this kind of circular convex because it goes out, as you can see, curves out, which is convex. And um, I basically used one of these. Uh, Velcro pad command strips and basically stuck it up inside of there but the problem with this is that it's convex and it's kind of like looking through a fisheye mirror or a fisheye lens and it distorts everything so if you look at yourself or you look at the camera that it's reflecting on it kind of gets everything around it and I did not like that so when it's inside of there and I was looking through um, I don't know if you know this but I actually have a lens hood on there as well if you can see that I have a lens hood on my lens so the convex mirror actually got the lens hood and I had to kind of look over the lens hood just a little bit and it was just kind of barely getting me in view but I went to a shop downtown uh, it's basically a Dollar Tree but it's called Daiso and I found one of these pocket mirrors before I was trying to get a mirror kind of like from um, women's makeup kits where I have like a little pocket makeup and you just open the lid and boom you can see yourself doing your makeup so I found something similar to that it's a pocket mirror and it does not sorry for that it's a light but it folds and it's very strong and so what I did uh, I can get it out of the package you can use this for multiple purposes but what I did was it's very cheaply made so it's like aluminum you can easily bend the case like look at that it's very crappy and you can just bend it and bend it all kinds of weird shapes. So as you can see, it's not very good quality material. So I took the mirror out of it, just like that. And now I have a mirror to reflect and you can see yourself. And this flat mirror is actually what came in the original design. So this versus this. Um, so in the original design, it was actually the square mirror. And this is like the exact perfect size I needed to actually put inside of the thing. So that is very cool. Um, it is really cool. It definitely opens it up a lot more. It looks like I'm basically looking at a flip up screen. I can see my entire face. It's like if I were doing like this. Oh boy. I almost knocked this over. I have a second camera going right here. Um, but if you can like you can see yourself, and it is very cool. So yeah, that's what I did. I upgraded that. So now I'm going to switch over to this camera here which is my phone um, on another tripod and it's basically going to show you what it looks like inside the screen here. Like this is how big it is. I have a really cool idea of how big the screen is. Uh, I just realized, sorry for looking into the thing and not the lens. I will try to look in the lens but when you have a flip up screen, a flip out screen, I know the trouble. It's very difficult and tempting to look at yourself and be like, I can see everything. Like this goes all the way up. So as you can see, this is what it kind of looks like when I'm actually filming. Now with this thing, uh, there's the thing on top here and the square mirror inside. Then this lens, uh, and then this is actually the screen that's flipped horizontally, so it'll reflect off of there and go into there. I'm gonna go handheld now. It's a tedious process to do videos. So now you can see basically what you look like. Um, very, uh, this is all the way zoomed out, but I want to zoom back in because my bed is messy. There's a light, sorry, it's blinding you. Um, so in here, you can see that it's like perfectly square. Uh, if it wasn't, it would kind of be like rounding off like that. You can see that it gets more of a more natural view. Because if it was like that, you can see basically everything in there. Um, with this, you can see everything, uh, the recording time, all the, the f-stop, the frames per second, basically everything you want to see inside of a camera and how you're recording. And uh, we'll walk around the back real quick to show you exactly what happens when you're recording. So you can see there's nobody there. We'll turn this light off real quick. There's nobody over there, but you can see it's recording and it's horizontal. So it basically goes like this and reflects up into there reflects off the mirror, but if I were to see this normally, it would actually be backwards. So, you flip back around, and then it's back to normal. So, let's go back onto this camera, so I can finish off this video. 
Alright, that concludes this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will try to upload more regularly, um, like I have been, on a one, two day, three day basis. Um, yeah, with some cool life updates coming very soon, uh, in about six months to ten months. Uh, we'll possibly be moving next from Japan. That will be cool. Looking forward to a really cool uh, collaboration of all the collage, of all the stuff we've done in Japan. So definitely stay tuned for that. And as always, drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Comment down below if this was actually really cool and if this was um, helpful for you. I will leave a link again in the description below of where I got this idea from. And then I just created a 3D printer. I'm going to try and look for a more permanent fix when I have more money in the future. So I don't have to have this plastic fragile case, uh, fragile thing made of like little strings of plastic. Uh, everywhere I go and always constantly worrying about this thing breaking. It's very fragile. I will see you in the next video. Stay tuned for more videos coming soon. Thanks for watching. Peace.